Virgo is a straight up G, and that was concrete in this chapter. Like they proved it. Anyway, this is your boy Mean. Welcome to the channel where anime and manga means more. And this time we're reviewing One Piece episode chapter 690. Good news. Caribou is okay and he's being taken care of. I started to worry for a second, so I'm happy that they showed this on the cover page. Caesar's face is wrecked. I mean, it's ruined. It looks like a banana. It's like this. It looks like a banana. And he's still trying to explain to Luffy how well-connected he is and how dangerous the people he's connected to is. And then he tries to get a sneak attack in while he's talking to Luffy. Of course, Lucy, Luffy's too fast. I said Lucy. Luffy's too fast for that. Gets out the way. Pounds him some more. Tiny Mon finds out that his son is a dragon. And now he's worried that the dragon that him and Brooke took out was his son. And oh, oh yeah, in other news, Usopp wound up on the second floor of the building room, you know, our room. So he's in a safe spot, but not quite safe because all the people is up there. But he can take them out. I'm quite sure uh, uh, Usopp can deal with, you know, those fodder uh, uh, underlings. So that's pretty much the situation with that. But everybody else got to get to where Usopp is quick. Back to Virgo. Virgo takes out Smoke Dog. Virgo's a beast and he only uses hockey. He's an hockey expert. When we talk about armaments, armaments hockey, he's the best one we've seen in the series so far, or the best showing we've seen of it by far, by leaps and bounds. It's crazy. That bamboo stick went right through Smoke Dog's juice. It was crazy. But it was all a ploy so that Smoke Dog can get Law's heart back. So that Law can get at him. Because Law probably knows his weaknesses and stuff like that because he, you know, uh, used to work with him and everything like that. Law has a few words with Joker. He knows that, uh, what you call him, Virgo has the Din Din Mushi on him. He's, you know, staying in contact with Joker, you know, Doflamingo. And he tells him, like, he gets on the offensive when he's talking to him, like, I got this, and I'm going to do this, and I got this, and yada, yada, yada. So it seems like Law has a grudge against Doflamingo. And, I mean, rightfully so, because you see how Doflamingo do with his people. So you know he's got some beef with him. And that was kind of makes me think Law is not really evil, or if he, even if he is, he's still, the main thing about what he's trying to do is not trying to destroy the world, which really doesn't make much sense, because why would the gas, you know, I mean, why would the sad destroy the planet? It's just making uh, devil fruits. That's more so destroying the planet when you're making, you know, zoning fruits. That should be more destructive. Yeah, but I don't know the whole story behind that. But anyway, it looks like he, he's really got it in, you know, out for uh, Doflamingo. So I think that's his real motive. But anyway, Virgo goes on a full offensive, full body armaments hockey. We've never seen it before. Beef subs, everything. And Dolph, uh, Doflamingo's talking to Joker. I mean, not Joker. Um, talk to himself. He's not talking to himself. He's talking to Law. He says, remember what, uh, uh, what happened with you and Virgo. When Virgo gets mad, it's a rap. Virgo got mad. And he said that Law was scared of Virgo. Rightfully so. At one point in time, it, I guess Law was scared of Virgo. Virgo must have put it on him. But Law then came up in these two years. He wasn't playing. So that's why... That makes sense because when he, before he went to the New World, he said, no, let's not go there just yet. He knows Joker's there. You know, he knows Doflamingo's there, and he wants to take time. He probably was training. You see how strong he's gotten. So he probably was on a full training regimen to make sure that he could take on Virgo. Because remember, what you call him, Doflamingo said he was scared of Virgo. And Virgo, at, apparently at some point in time, his armament high key was so strong, Law couldn't even cut with his powers. That's crazy. Virgo's a beast. Now, Smokey got to his, step his game up because he got beaten twice in one arc. He's got beaten twice. He's got to step his game up. I now, I mean, it's certain circumstances. I mean, Virgo, I mean, Smoker was got beat by Virgo, but he was already beat up a little bit from Tashiki being in his body, from this happening to him. He already got in a fight with Law, you know, stuff like that. But Virgo was beat up too. And, you know, it just... It, and, and, and the thing about Law is, Law is using his powers more. So I think Virgo probably, if they're not using powers, Virgo will run right through Law. And he will run right through Smoker. But the thing is, 
when you're on the grand line, you got to learn how to deal with these devil fruit powers, man. You got to be able to find out what kind of power they have, how to deal with it, just like that. So it ain't no excuse. You got to learn it. He's been on the grand line long enough to know he encountered Paramecia, Zoans, Logias. He is Logias. He needs to learn how to deal with these fruit powers quick. This was a good chapter. It not a lot happened, but it was good because we finally get to see a glimpse of Virgo's full power. He hasn't even used his full power this whole chapter. I mean, this whole arc. He hasn't used his full power. That's crazy. Now, with the sad thing, now, I kind of botched the last thing, but y'all y'all know, but I don't care. Oh, well, we all, we all make mistakes. I don't care. Anyway, sad is probably a gas. Why? Caesar, he, um, he specializes in gas. On top of the tank, there's like a hazard looking sign, so it's kind of like a poisonous gas, and what he always uses, poisonous gases, and they say he's the only one in the world that can make it. Now, think about it. I don't think that we got Vegapunk. I don't think there is any kind of way that Caesar is outsmarting Vegapunk. I think the reason why Caesar is the only one who can make it has nothing to do with his science. I think he just can, he's using his powers to make it. The gas gas through. And if you look at when uh, Law cut Virgo in half, when Law cut Virgo in half, he chopped the whole room in half, including the sag tank. When the sag dripped out, it wasn't like pouring out. It's like a gas. You see, it comes, some comes up, come, some comes down, all that kind of, It looks like a gas. I'm thinking that Caesar's just using his powers to make it, so that's why he's the only one that can do it. it has nothing to do with his brilliance and stuff like that. But this was a good chapter. Go ahead and leave your comment. Let me know what you think. Rate the video and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.